Hi there, Philip here. Um, now apparently Michael's had a few questions from people wanting to retie the, the line on their Everill bass clarinet harness. So here I am to show you how I do them. So the knot we use, or the knot I use, is called an anchor road hitch, which is actually a combination of two knots. Well, a, a, notch, a knot and a hitch. Um, it's a round turn and then a bowline or a bowline, depending on where you grew up. Let's start with the bowline or the bowline. So we've got our bitter end here. This is the, the loose end and this is the standing end. That's the bit that goes to your, to the hook that goes onto your bass clarinet. So we start by making a loop in the standing end and putting my fingers over the top and twisting that way so that the standing end passes beneath the bitter end. All right, then we take our bitter end, put it up through that hole, around behind the standing end and then back through that hole again. Now pull the standing end and the bitter end and you've got yourself a loop. It's a very strong knot for making a loop, a bowling. And you can pull that as tight as you want uh, and dress it. Pull it as tight as you want. You can pull that between two cars and you'll still be able to undo it very easily by turning it over and flipping that little notch bit there. That always comes apart very easily, the bowling. Very versatile knot. So the part that makes an anchor road hitch is a round turn, which is very easy. So this is your D-ring. Pass the bitter end up through the D-ring around and then back up again. And that's it. That's the anchor road hitch. Well, that's the that's the round turn. Then a bowline in that will make it an anchor road hitch. And the reason I do this is because that will kind of help locate it on the D-ring. If it's just a bowline, it will kind of slip around while you're playing. That might not be too comfortable. So let's do the knot from beginning to end. Come up with our bitter end through the D-ring and finish our round turn. Great. Okay, now for the bowline. I'll tell you a story while I do it, why not? This is the way I learned it. So we've got our loop. Oops, let's call that a hole. And we've got a tree here. The bitter end is a rabbit. And the rabbit comes up out of his hole, sees a fox, runs around the tree and goes back down his hole again. Cute little story. And then dress the knot. That's it, that's your anchor road hitch. Now, you might not be happy with how long that loop there is. You might want to loosen, uh, might want to tighten that up. In that case, you just loosen your bowline and just kind of scooch things along and cinch them down. Just manipulate it a little bit until you're happy with the length. Then again, pull the bitter end and the standing end to dress the knot. Then just, you know, take your shears and um, clip the end off that and then um, maybe hit it with a cigarette lighter to melt the end so that it doesn't fray and away you go that's it that's your anchor road hitch and that's the knot i use on the everall bass clarinet harness okay take care and i'll see you soon